Hello, and welcome to this video on Relationship Assistant in Dynamics 365. My name is David Mockery, and I'm a Dynamics 365 consultant with Magnetism Solutions in Auckland, New Zealand. Magnetism Solutions is a Dynamics 365 gold partner. Now, Relationship Assistant is a component of Relationship Insight, which is a new feature in Dynamics 365. This video doesn't show how to configure Relationship Assistant or any of the prerequisites that have to be in place for it. For that, go to the link on screen now and you'll get some excellent articles produced by Microsoft on how to configure Relationship Assistant and what needs to be in place for it to be configured. Rather than look at the, the prerequisites and the configuration, we're going to focus on how it actually works for the user. So, first question, what is Relationship Assistant? Well, what Relationship Assistant does is it shows action cards to the user prompting them that certain things are due or overdue or certain events have happened that they might want to take action on. The cards look like this. Here they are on screen here on the Sales Activity Social Dashboard. So they're shown here on this dashboard and they're shown here in two places. They're shown in what's called the carousel, which is this part up here. And they're also shown in a feed of all of them. It's shown in the Assistant tab here. On the carousel, it will only show the first two or three, depending on the size and resolution of your screen. But on the what's new wall, you will see all of them. Dynamics 365 will present what it thinks is the most important one first. You can also see them on the record that the card is about. So for example, this first one says there's been no activity with a case. And the case is faulty product catalog. So if I go into that case, I can see that card showing on that on the carousel there and in the main list of activities, posts, etc. I've got a tab for assistant because I've enabled relationship assistant and I can see that one in there. Also, if you go to the what's new wall, as you saw on the sales activity a social dashboard. You, um, you can access all of the cards there too. Now it's important to note that you only see the cards relating to records that you own. So for example, I've got this no activity with case for the product catalog card. If I open that up and I assign this card to someone else, If I go back to my dashboard, that card is now gone. The card still exists in the system, but it doesn't show it to me because I no longer own that particular um, case. But if I go to the case itself, I will see the card, just not on my what's new wall or on my carousel on my sales activity social dashboard. So that's where you see the cards in the system. Now, what about what types of cards are there? Well, there are six basic types of cards. And if I click that little icon there, I can see what they are. There is base cards, email cards from Exchange, relationships analytics cards, email engagement cards, productivity cards, and what are called today cards. Now, if you open up each of these groups, you can see a little bit more about types of cards that there are within each group. So in base cards, these tell you about things that are coming up, uh, things that are due today, um, or things that um, maybe you've maybe missed something. And if you've got this little icon here at the end, which um, which tells, which gives you a little tooltip, giving a little bit more of an explanation about what that card does. So that close date coming soon card it reminds you when opportunities are close dates coming soon. And the days before the opportunity closes that the card will be shown is shown here. 14 days before the opportunity closes that card will be shown. Now the email cards from Exchange, these cards will, will show up um, if you have uh, an email comes into your Exchange um, online and Exchange online is required for these types of cards. Um, and a competitor was mentioned in that 
in that email, then it will bring that card, um, it will show that card in a CRM and it will invite you to do various actions depending on the type of card that it's, that it's shown. The relationship analytics cards, they're designed to show that there's been no activity with a particular record, whether it be an account, case, contact, lead or opportunity, and again, the number of days that it will count before it actually brings that card up on screen, um, it will show those so that people who have responsibility to maintain those records can see where they need to give some attention to that particular record. Now there are other types of cards here as well, I won't go into detail about what they all are, but there is an excellent reference guide on the Microsoft um, Health and Training, which tells you all about the different types of cards, when they show, and details about what you can do with each type of card. I'd strongly recommend taking a look at that. So what can you do with these cards when they're shown to you? Well, it varies depending on the card type, but typically you can, you can open the record. So you can see here I can open this lead that this first card is about. Um, you can dismiss the card by closing it, and that means it will never be seen again. You can snooze the card if you want to. Now the snooze periods depend upon the type of card. Some will snooze for 15 minutes, some might snooze for 12 hours. You can see this card will snooze for 12 hours. Those periods aren't configurable in this release. Sometimes you can take some other action. It depends upon the card's type. Again, refer to the reference um, for the action cards and it will tell you exactly what you can do with each of the cards. In this particular one here, I can send an email. So if I select that, it will send an email to the person that the lead is for. So what different configuration settings can you have for Relationship Assistant, either at an organizational level or a user level? Well, at an organization level, a system administrator or system customizer can go into settings and go into Relationship Insights, and they can adjust which of these cards will be shown. So if I decided that I did want to see opportunities that have got close dates coming soon, but I wasn't too interested in showing emails that were due today, I can just untick that particular one, any of these other ones that I want to untick. Now, some of them are read-only. So, for example, email engagement, you can't untick those because these are turned on or off by turning email engagement on or off. Email engagement is another component of Relationship Insights, which is not covered in this video, but I will be covering that in another video, so watch out for that. Now, it's very important to note that just because an organization is set up to, um, with certain things to be shown on Relationship Assistant and some things not to be shown, the user can override that. So in this particular one, I've said email due today. I don't want that to be set on organization level. If I save that, but then if I go back to my sales activity social dashboard, I can access here my own personal configuration for relationship assistant cards and I can select this is here. Now I'm not in here now as a system administrator, I'm just in here as the user setting their own personal options and you can see there that it has said the email due today is not going to be shown because that would say at an organizational level but if I decided that well actually I do want to see what emails are due today I can just tick that and that will um, that will that will show me the email due today but obviously for any other users who hadn't had that setting set, then they wouldn't see that. But if I decided I didn't want to see letters due today, I could untick that. So at an organizational level, the configuration is really just a way of setting a template for all new users who are set up in the system, how they will be configured. Once your user record is set up, then you can change it to whatever you want. The user can't change the number of days uh, before um, an event happens that the card is shown, that is not configurable to the user, that is only configurable at an organization level. And that's really it, that's Relationship Assistant. Thanks for watching.